up guys, the Bass Boys here. Me and Ryan are out here today. We're on a fishing adventure. We're at a place we have never actually been before. We're currently in a yeah, water, it's literally right in front of me. Currently in a pickle here. Yeah, I don't know man. We're, this is actually a pond that water's we weren't going to fish. Water's literally like two feet in front of me. I see it. Let's try walking down a little more. This is actually a pond that we were not gonna fish at, but it's on the map and it was like a little secret trail to it, so might try fishing here first. Alright, we finally found a spot we can try in this little secret pond here. But yeah, you can see how it has these, I don't know, this you know what these plants are called? I don't know what this is called. Like, no. forget the name. But yeah, it's always surrounded by all these <laughs> ponds and stuff. But for gear, I always put my gear off before I start fishing here. Seven foot one, eleven tournament, bass series rod, fifteen pound Seaguar fluorocarbon line, Abu Garcia or SX baitcaster reel, and then for today. I'm gonna try just the Gary Yamamoto five inch. Not the wacky style, at least for now. Let me see if I can get a cast here. A bunch of trees behind me. All right, it's the first cast in this place. I will say this it looks like a pretty good little pond here. It's not too little, but I mean, it's a, it's a somewhat large something retention pond or no fish on the first cast appears oh god hardest held cast yeah I got, you got it. it holy crap Ryan's got one It's a decent, I think. Right. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> well, at least we, we didn't come all here for nothing. It's pretty decent. I got one on my first cast here. Yeah. I oh, got my shoes, got my socks all soaked. <laughs> Let's get that on hook, show that off. It's probably like a, I could tell from here, it's probably like a 13 inch bass or something. Let's see if we can laze it up. You see it? Yep, an all right one. All right. Ryan got it on his second cast, or was that her first? No bass. That's not good. <laughs> she was going to release the bass and it flopped and went in the plants. <laughs> we got to straighten this out. Ryan's got to rescue this bass here. Bat, stop. You got him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't leave a bass behind. <laughs> he still wants to flop out. There you go. Get in the water. You went, right? Yeah. Well, that was a way to have a first fish at a place. <laughs> And it's hot. Especially around these plants after all the rain yeah. we've had. That's sunny. Oh I got no, I got one. Nice. What a little one. Bass number two out of the little pond here. Just another alright one. Alright. Come on. This one got hooked freaking ain't when they get hooked. Well, there's this one. So far, me and Ryan have got
gotten two. <laughs> it's only been about five minutes. In the first spot, too. And the bass already ripped my worm. I gotta go get a new one. But yeah, this is what I'm using for bait here. I already told you before, but poggers. It's a classic right here. You can already have a model. That's what my bag is mostly filled with. Hot steamer out here today. We're just a bit lucky here right now that we're in the we got a tree behind us. At least behind me. I don't think Ryan's got one behind him. No. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, sun's kind of starting to shine in my back. Dang, it's hot out. Bring a bunch of other rods today that I want to try out. My ultralight. And also my medium heavy rod, which I got a popper on. Might actually give that a try here. Fucking stupid big flies that fly around your head. Heat dumb things. Alright. I think we'll move down a little. Find out where Ryan went. Like over there, I see like some signs. All right, well, Ryan here, he found a much more open spot here. Yeah. Looks like we can find, find a good spot here, though. We can fish right on the shoreline. God, what a crappy cast there. Oh, I got one. Nice. No, it oh. freaking popped off. Ryan just had one. I can have one reeling in. I did fucking do shit. Stuck my guys. Yeah. There ain't no doubt it's doubt it's a steamer out here today. At least we got a little bit of a breeze. Off the camera here. I bet that temperature says. I wonder what it says. What it feels like today. Let's see what it actually is here. 83 because it feels like 85 no way no oh, freaking way man <laughs> feels like it's about 100 Ryan's got one, and it looks like it could be something good. Oh, another all right. Got, I got a line tangled all over my, someone's line. Oh, this is a fighter because there was a pile of damn weeds on him. Yeah. Jesus. It's a fatty. Some the bass in here, at least they're kind of fat. I'm talking to the bass here, like they understand. That's what you gotta do though. Hooked them good. Alright, got Ryan's bass here. Yeah, I was trying to use, the, I was using my pliers, he got it out with his hands. Yeah. <laughs> Classic stuff there. Oh yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna try my Bobby Garland out here. Uh, this is a bait here. It's a two inch. This 
like I said, I brought my ultralight rod. Give that a try here. It's just St. Croix Panther Series. Uh, six foot ultralight. Shimano Sedona 1000 size. And then four pound test fluorocarbon line. And then I'm using a 132 jig, jig head too. It's a round ball jig head. We'll give this a try over here too. Usually you get a lot of bites with a bait like this. And light line too. Three out of this pond. I just had another. I just had to hit there. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. It's it's a hundred for sure. That humidity. There's a lot of humidity. Unless it's unless it's because we're around all these plants. That's definitely what's probably doing it. Yeah. yeah around all this green just rained on plants yesterday I don't want to get rained on yeah but we're definitely not gonna be getting any rain <laughs> what the freaking bug Another. Another yeah. Small one. That's three for Ryan today. Must be the spot there. Kidding me. There's another one Ryan got. He's got like a parasite on him. Yeah. You get parasites all the time. Overheating. Not surprised, but now we're at the main lake. Never been here before. At least we're in the shade here. One of the bass right here. You're gonna see a bunch of fish on the shoreline. Yeah, you could. Small though. It's pretty small. It's a decent sized bass right here. Yeah, I see them in my glasses. It's all like hanging around here. Of bluegills on the shore, like a ton of them, like really small ones. Like, they're all over the place. Well, we've got to have some 
barbecue David Seeds. Almost gotta be eating these when you're fishing. Alright guys, I'm gonna bring out the popper. Got my swim clip in there. It's a medium heavy rod. It's seven foot. I'm gonna quantum smoke. 100 size with some like 40 pound braid. And this is the popper. It's the X rat pop. Not size number seven. Try out some top water. Real hot with that sun. Super hot. Alright, guys, there's a bass right here. He's just like stalking these bluegills. Tons of them. He's out there. Let's see if we can get him to hit this. I'm gonna drop it right in his face. Oh, no. Man, that's like. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. He's just cruising around. Had a bite? There's just so many bluegills over here. They're eating something over here too. Yeah, they're like eating something in the ground. That was a good sized bass. He went and turned and, oh, there's another one right here. A good one. Just sitting there. It's right here. No, he's going that way. There he goes. Into the weeds. Oh my god, that's a big one there. That's a 17 incher there, I think. There's, th there's three of them. They're swimming around these weeds. There's another big one here. They're just not interested in what I got. Yeah, that's a big bass. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he almost went from a worm. He was gonna suck it up. There's whole, oh my God. There's another huge one there. He's coming your way. Oh man, that's a big one. That's a, that's a big, big old bass. And I've never seen something like this. I think I got maybe one going for my thing. If one blue yellow goes crazy, he's gonna go for him. Yeah. Big bass here, man. Just 
lurking around here. Oh, there he goes. He's going for it. <clears throat> he said no. <sighs> yep, another one here. There's like four of them here. That one's looking at my thing. <sighs> Never seen anything like this. Or they're just like, it's like so clear I could see No, but that's a fat, fat head bass. It's gonna go right in front of his face. These bass are just swimming around over here looking for easy pickings. They got all these small blue yarn, I don't know if you can see my camera, but there's, there's got to be like a thousand of them. I'm trying to get one of these bass to eat my Yamamoto, but I can't. Yeah, that's a big bass. All right, let's try this out over here. Oh, there comes a big... There he comes a bass, he's sneaking up. Dang. It's so weird. Man, look at this blue gal, they're chasing my thing. A huge blue gal over here somewhere. Oh yeah. What? Oh my god. This one looked looked at my bait and then swam off really fast. Really? Like he knew it was some trap. Oh my god. That's a big one there. Gotta bring your bait over here. You see this bass, that's a four pounder there. See him? See him? No. God, I gotta get a picture. Can't see him. Ah, he swam off. But he's, but there, there's one sitting here. There's one. Now this one's going right next to him. He's opening his mouth, coughing something up. I cannot believe that they won't touch anything. God, man, it's freaking hot. One right there? Yeah, one right here. God, they just like run away from it. Figure out how I can just like drop one in front. Yeah, they just ignore it. Try a little bit farther out. There's probably a whole bunch of them out there too. Why do they just keep moving around, man? They just keep swimming around. Like a catfish sitting there, waiting for something to go right in the front of his mouth or something. All right, we moved away from where all the big giant bass were. Moving away from fish, because they wouldn't touch anything. I don't think mine were those bluegills. 
It's a little bluegill. Craziest thing is I haven't seen any, I haven't like seen anybody like catch a fish or splash or anything. But it's like they're there. Anyway, let's head over to that first pond we were at today because we sit out here in the sun, we're gonna die soon. But I mean, it'll be sunny over there. But it's a cooker out here today. Is that why you're in the shade over there? No, it's because I can't see my phone. <laughs> so, what do you got to say about the heat, Ryan? Is it's it the crazy. hottest fishing day of the year? Yeah, it certainly feels like it. <laughs> I don't think we fished in this hot. That one day, I remember, remember the day we were at construction and you almost passed out? Yeah. <laughs> like after I did, I think it was cool out compared to now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were like dying out there and it was nowhere near as hot and humid. So, but yeah, we're gonna head over to that pond now. Oh, I got a hit. Look at that, one jump like next to me. Who popped off, yeah. Look at muskaroo. Oh yeah. There's a muskrat. That must have been what flopped. Muskaroos are always in the good places. <laughs> Ryan's got a fish. Another all right one. Seems to be the all right pond. <laughs> Around here, that's gonna take frickin' till forever to get there. It's gonna take forever to get there. Cause this one hit. And then they're gonna waste their time. Got every time, man. Almost in the eye. Got these wackies. Another one, though. About the size of an all right bass. God, I don't want to squirm before you throw them back in. And then they end up on the side of the bush. Got one? Another all right one, looks like. Ryan's hauling them in. Right there at the wheel. Yeah, he just decides to pop off right at the front of you. This one almost makes decent. Yeah, almost makes it decent. No, he's just kind of chubby. Didn't really fight. Got it out. Somehow he's bleeding. Oh, but he should be fine. A little bit of blood. Freaking bee behind me. Big bee. Yeah, we're gonna head out of here. If we manage, how many fish did you catch, you think? Probably call it like six or something. Yourself. Now you just got three. So yeah, I guess we got eight total. But the disappointing part of the day is the main area has fish, but big bass, but they didn't want to hit. No matter what we threw in their face, we didn't want to touch it. So we're going to hit up another place 
one of our, you know, usual spots. If you watch our channel, you will know where we're going. But we'll be there for sunset, hopefully. And we'll see if we can catch any jumbos today. All right, guys, here we are. Made it back here. Drove about 40 minutes, 50 minutes probably back. It's around eight o'clock sunset now. Skeetles will be out here soon to annihilate us. We're gonna see if we can get some jumbos out here. The sunset. Should be able to. I've been here for a week. Last time I was here, it was an uncut video. And that was about a week ago. Ryan's here my right of course I got the hiccups now yeah we're using the wacky worm here the best choice is probably the wacky worm I didn't bring my other rods because I didn't really carry them around no reason to really use the other ones best chance is going to be with the Sanko here. The wacky Sanko. These mosquitoes, they are annihilating me. I'm gonna have to put the spray on, I think. folks so so far I really haven't had any major hits here so it's usually the place that would be bass would be uh, a little aggressive but maybe something has changed since we got all this water and rain I know. We haven't had a hit yet. A good hit. A polar or something. God, man, I can't even freaking. So many around my head still. They're just flying around. They know they can't get any closer. <laughs> yeah, we'll stay. We'll keep staying as long as we can. God, man, it's freaking ants. They just really like light. Like that. We gotta get out. I heard it coming this way. We gotta go that way now. We're gonna go the way. We're gonna go the way we came. I heard snarl. We're gonna go the way it is? No, I'm going the way that we. Came, came. Oh, it should run. Especially when it sees a light, super bright light like this. 
All right, guys. Kind of, I mean, it got me a little bit scared there, at noise. But, I mean, we ain't getting any bites anyway. So I guess we're gonna call it here. So, hit the like button. You see my thumb, the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.